Hello, this is Alexis May for AI Med, and today I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Jenny Davidson, Director of Governance at King Edward VII Hospital in London. Jenny, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, Jenny, just to kick things off, tell us a bit about you know, your experience over the last few months as the COVID-19 pandemic has gripped the UK and the rest of the world. Uh, well, it, for everyone, it's been uh, an amazing journey with some uh, very unique challenges. Um, healthcare has never seen anything like it, and I think it's thrown up some um, some amazing new challenges for us. Uh, we've worked with people that we haven't worked with before. Uh, we form new alliances. Uh, we've done some some great clinical work, uh, and we've really managed to contribute a huge deal. But um, there's been rapid change, um, and we've had to really deal with some things that uh, we've never had to do before. So, um, you know, fr from this very difficult time, hopefully some some learning that will really stand us in good stead over the next uh, year to two, definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, um, I think it's important to put a, a positive um, view on this, but you know, also completely valid. We've seen some amazing um, leaps in lots of different areas, particularly with regard to healthcare and technology during this time. Now we are tentatively um, sort of going back to, you know, what might be described as business as usual. Um, what does that look like for you and your hospital? Uh, I think we certainly do feel like things are starting to return, uh, maybe not to normal, but to different, uh, different normal. Uh, so we are starting to, to have different types of activity or, or more common activity that we had before. And certainly technology has played an important part and it's made us realise the value of some of the technology we have had and where we continue to have gaps. Um, so fr from the technological perspective, um, the rapid change has been one of the biggest challenges and through change you're having to make quick decisions and to have data on which to make those decisions has, has been invaluable uh, and where, the, where we've lacked that data we've really noticed it. So um, certainly we've been asked for data to be able to provide data to you know, national bodies on which for them to make decisions as well as make decisions at a local level. And we do have some of that data, but some of it is retrospective. Uh, and, and we really, really wanted some more real time data. And I think going forward, it's something that um, this period of time has shown us we definitely need to do more of going forward. That kind of how do we assess a situation rapidly uh, with the changes that are going on? How, what data sources have we got that can really inform us and prioritize? And, and make sure it's the safest thing for patients, that we can make sure that we're doing the right thing. Um, and you know, that's that's been really difficult to do on occasion. So we have used the technology that we have got, which is an excellent um, informatics system, uh, the CRAB system, to help us do some of that planning. Uh, certainly as we go back to the, the, the different normal going forward, we will use that data more and more. Um, but again, the, the challenge is making that really real time, making that part of the, the quick decision making um, and, and to inform us what we need to do going forward. Because, of course, COVID hasn't gone away. So we're still prioritising patients. We're still wanting to make sure they're as well as they possibly can be and they stay well when they're with us. So, uh, you know, gathering all that data and making sense of it is, is essential. Um, so we do the best we can with what we have, definitely. Yeah. Um, thank you for, for sharing that, Jenny. And I like that term, different normal. I, I feel the new normal has already become a cliche. Um, yeah. And I hadn't thought about different normal, so I, I might use that. Um, that's all the time we've got today, but I'm really excited um, to um, be collaborating with you on an exclusive webinar that we've got coming up on the 2nd of July, which is at 9 a.m. UK time, um, and more information of about that is available on the AI Med website, which is www.ai-med.io. Um, but for now, Jenny, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Thanks and bye.